Whoa. Okay. That was probably one of the biggest hits I've had. Hey y'all, Jim here with the next cast. It is a beautiful September morning. You can see the thermals coming off the water. Today we're gonna end summer the right way. It's not quite fall, We're right. it's right around the corner. But today we're gonna be joined by Mike from Marigo Outdoor Adventures, Chris from Tennessee Islanders, and Bill with Fishing with Old Dad. And we're gonna show you how we like to end the summer the right way. We're gonna send it out with a bang. It's time y'all to become a better angler. Y'all, we are out here getting everything set up and situated. We are meeting up today with Chris from Tennessee Islanders, Mike from Marigo Outdoor Adventures, and Bill from Fishing with Old Dad. And we're going to be fishing, but what they don't know is that we're also going to be providing some food and drinks. We wanted to make this a end of the summer send-off celebration, kind of kick us into fall, the fall fishing. Really. So, just kept it simple, burgers and dogs. Doing some fishing. The rest of the guests, Mike and Bill and Chris, and they're gonna bring some friends. They'll be here a little bit later. I wanted to pop out here early because guys, there's nothing more beautiful than an early morning out here at the test waters. I mean, look at that. Thermals coming off the water. Birds are singing. I mean, just nothing more beautiful than being out here this early in the morning. Yeah, and if you guys look, if you haven't checked out my other channel, Simple Life Tennessee, up in those trees right there, you may not be able to see it. You might be able to see it. There's a little hunting trailer, but there's also a tree stand. Go check out that channel. We got the food plots in. I'm excited about what's going to happen there. All right, guys, got the drinks put away. Got this stuff set up. I already got the meat down in a fridge that we have at a lower location. Drinks are all set to go. All right, grill set up over there. We're gonna have burgers, hot dogs, chips. Keep it simple. Just wait for the guests to arrive. We'll show you that as it's happening. Get ready, guys, we're about to have a lot of fun. This is how we're gonna send the summer off the right way. Fishing with friends. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. And uh, let's get it. You guys ready to have a little fun, huh? Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to try something new today. You could try just about anything you want to do. What about you there, Chris? What's that? What you up to, brother? What do you want to do today? What do you want to catch? I'm just going to catch a bunch of fish and have fun. My mother in law thought if I was going to blow a lot of laughs. I better bring her some. Hey, I'm telling you, we'll fill up the cooler whenever you guys want to fill up the cooler. We get a good laugh. We. Oh, there's going to be laughs, believe me. Oh, because my brother in law. I have no filter, and that's the downside. Yeah. yeah. So I try well, to watch my filter, but. No. So, With me, there's a lot of editing. J Bo. J Bo. Yeah. J A Y B O. Or J A B O. You ain't getting, you ain't getting through any of that stuff. I, I want a bear. I hadn't took a bear yet. There we go. There's the first little one of the day. <laughs> that's good enough to throw in if you want to go catch a big bass. Yeah, if you want to catch a bass with it. <laughs> Guys, we're going to let that one get bigger. That one just was born like yesterday. Look at the size of it. There, there we go. <laughs> Got another baby. Okay, you guys are not the size I'm looking for. You, you might be able to throw it with that. How much does it weigh? Yeah, you could probably throw it with that. If you have trouble casting it out, just go to a bigger bobber. I'm trying to get used to this pole. Right. I'm used to my ACC crappie stick there. And this line, they there we go. There you go. This line they have on here isn't the... That was oh, that, oh, okay. get your cooler. Got nice get your cooler. I got it. That was one I was trying to catch. That's not fair. <laughs> that cheated. one's going to go in there. That's a winner. Look at that. Right there. You cheated. That was the one. They're going to get bigger, y'all. But that's definitely an eater right there. Love it. Okay. All right. Yep. Jump in there, brother. They're in there. And I'm like, what is that, two foot? You guys getting any activity or what? I caught one little one and he finally caught a little one. Gosh. Are you catching any? They've caught a couple bass down there. I caught one little bass out of six and that was it. Jeff just showed up, so that's good. He's got Robert with him. 
Yeah, he asked me. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure dude, absolutely. No problem. I don't yeah. know him. But Mike, I, I Mike. Do well, yeah, you do. You, I want him to have fun. Yeah. You know. you know my mindset when it comes to this stuff. When the cold front comes in, the pressure changes. Right. When your yeah. pressure changes, the fish will either move up or down. Right. So they're in here. We just got to find out, okay, where are we consistently getting bit? Right. If you're caught catching little ones, you need to go lower yep. because the small fish will always be above the big fish. Yeah, that's what so, we did to catch see? these. And you're getting bit right now. Yeah. There you go. You got him. I think he's already on there. there go. Mike's got one. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, so you got one. There we go. Two in a row, guys. Mike got a nice little bass. Oh, you got a nice keeper bluegill. Look at that, Chris. That's the one I'll need. There we go. All right, Mike. That's a nicer one. Oh, do you see the ones fall on it? Oh, another bass. You got like the school of bass over there. Bunch of little bass. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Okay, put them right there. They're right on the edge of the willow, guys. That's not going to be an eater. Oh, did you see them? Yeah, Just blast. Yeah, see, see, they're going to start turning on. Just twitch it and boom. Are you still? Oh, nice. There we go, Chris. That was a good hit. I guess you want me. I'll run back and get the cooler. I'll get the cooler. You guys fish. You got a fish? That's got to be a crappie or a bass. That's a big old bluegill. That's a massive bluegill. Look at that one. Yeah, there oh, we go. Did you hear that there, Bill? I told you I'll show you how it's not done. How it's not done. He'd like to eat it, if, but you could throw it back. It's up to you, brother. Uh, that's... It's up to you. I'm going to let catch. him do it. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, he's donating to your bounty there, brother. All right. I love it. Thank you, Bill. No charge. No Thank charge. You. He's only going to charge you 50 cents a fish. 50 cents a fish? He's bring up the wallet. <laughs> right there you go. all right guys a little bit of an update we just got a few in there so far some nice ones all right. there we go not a big one nope, little guy. but if we were going for uh if i was catching something to want to throw in for a bass oh quick release that would have been a nice one yeah. they're like okay yep look at that there you go beautiful yep. that's going to be a nice one Uh, oh, nice. That that would fillet. Oh, Bill doubled up and Chris doubled up. Okay, there's Chris's. <laughs> what do you got, Bill? Oh, he's got a monster bluegill. Look at the size of that one, brother. On the micro Z-Man micro net. Hold on, don't take them off yet. I'm gonna take a picture and then send it to you, and you can use it as yeah. a thumbnail if you want. I got me a bluegill, Mike. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is awesome. Love it. Donating that one to the bounty. Awesome, Bill. So far, Bill's caught two keepers back to back. I had two down there, too, that were keepers. So it's warming up here, guys. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Winter. Two of the big ones I got down there. Uh huh. As soon as they hit the water, cram down. So show my viewers what you're doing here, Bill. Guys, everybody's fishing completely differently today. Yes. But Bill's going to go over his setup. Okay. What I have here, this is from Z-Man. It's just a 130 ounce or 120th ounce uh, jig head that is a miniature Ned Rig jig and um, a Z-Man plastic Ned. Yeah, which I need a new one of. Uh, it's getting chomped on. But yes, it's been killer. I've caught bass and some nice bluegill on this. So. Very nice. So what, what kind of line are you using? Uh, I'm using a uh, six pound mm -hmm. uh, mono. Okay. With a uh, Shakespeare, what is it? Micro series, uh, ultralight. Very and nice. a Luz 1000 size spinning reel. So. And it's yeah, getting the job done, great, guys. Yeah, it's a great combo. All right, let's keep yep. catching them. Fill out the cooler. His, uh, wife's in the there we go. There you go. Uh, guys, if if this keeps up, we might have to keep some of these and just throw in a bigger hook and go live bluegill or go live bait fishing for bass. Yeah. I'm just saying. 
All right, Chris is on with a nice one. All right. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, that's a big old bull. That'll get everybody's that's attention, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's the pond monster. That's a big sandwich. That's a, that's that's a big sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> Yes, very sir. nice, very nice, oh, Chris. Yeah. Very nice. Big old bull. Good yes, yeah. job, Chris. Nice. Good job, Chris. Guys, Chris has another one and another nice one. Without a this area as I pull it up, they may not. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, brother. Beautiful. Look at the size of that bluegill. Okay, you've gotten the two big ones of the day so far. Yeah. No, the three big ones. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. You got a few. Very nice. Here's your baby bass. Okay, so for my viewers, tell me what you're throwing there, Chris. So, right now we just got a small yellow jig head. We're throwing a crappie nugget. Uh, pull wise, using a crappie max ultralight seven and a Fluger President reel. Those Four pound best, strand. Those are the best reels. All my reels are man. Best uh, bang for your buck, 50 bucks. Get a nice reel. Beautiful. There we go. There you go. Keep going. Catch some more. Robert's got the first crappie. Reel it in. Yes, sir. All right. Pull it on up. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Oh, nice. Okay. We're not keeping these today because nah. trying to get them. Ow. <laughs> Whew, he got me. He got me good. Okay. All right, y'all. Robert got himself a beautiful black crappie. He was throwing a trout magnet, pink trout magnet, pink. just underneath a easy float, and with tip with a crappie nibble. And he's a real fish because he likes pink. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Sir, we're gonna let you go and release that one. You just toss it on back in there. Nice. All right, there we go. That's fighting like a crappie. That is. No, that's a, yeah. That's a crappie. Two crappie in a row. Way to go. All right, check that out, y'all. Very nice, Jim. Very nice. That is a black crappie on a Rock Creek 164th ounce hair jig tipped with a crappie nibble. Cool. Guys, the link for Rock Creek is in the description below. Let's get this one off. <laughs> Starting to fill it up, y'all. Chris is adding another one. Look at that. You can make a nugget. Oh, yeah. Oh, they all eat, brother. Oh, yeah. They all eat. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's the big fish of the day. <laughs> Holy shamoly, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you not recording any of this? No, but once the table gets set up, I'm going to record him. Brother, look at that. I am. Fishy, fishy. Guys, Chris's channel is linked below. If you want to see some awesome fishing action, some cooking, he does some traveling around the islands here in Tennessee and showing us what's going on there. His channel is linked in the description below. That is awesome. Look Bang. at that. Get you some of that. Wow. Oh, Jeff, you got, oh, nice one, Jeff. Jeff's, we, we're going to start a YouTube channel for Jeff. It's going to be called The Silent Fisherman because he never tells anyone when he's caught a fish. <laughs> no, he don't. And then you're just like, hey. The Silent Fisherman. Very nice. You want him? Yep. He's getting added to the... Are you recording? Uh, no, I'm off. I need to put a battery. He's getting added to the bounty. Beautiful. <laughs> the bluegill don't stand. <laughs> oh, I saw that one, Chris. Wow. Oh, what you got, brother? You should have seen his bobber. His bobber got slammed. And it's so funny. They'll hear the bluegill. They'll be in the front. Oh, 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 brother. Awesome, brother. I saw your bobber. Boom! So you're deep. You're almost three feet. Yeah. All right.
Oh, we got Annie going last night. We told her, Jim got her going. He goes, yeah, Mike said you were gonna make some uh, mac or macaroni salad, potato salad for tomorrow for us. Open up. <laughs> and it was, you know, already like I seven, heard, eight o'clock. Man, she hit panic mode on her face. She's like, uh, uh, I, I can. And we started laughing. We're like, we're just messing with you. <laughs> well, she, like, <laughs> she had mentioned earlier in the week about making something like that. I was yeah. like, no, no, we'll take care of it. So I waited till like five o'clock last night. I was like, I thought you were making all this stuff. She's like, well, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Got well, that's what we told her, and we told her that. It's too that easy all the time. Here. So, like Mike and Jeff got her. There was a tornado warning. And she calls me and goes, honey, where are you guys at? He goes, we're chasing the tornado. We almost caught it. We're She's like, what? He goes, yeah, we're like within feet of it. She's like, what are you doing? That's when I was dancing. We're chasing the tornado. <laughs> that's just wrong. There is nothing right about that. Well, if, the, if she's going to fall for it. Well, you know, well, yeah, I guess. All right. Mine There's wouldn't. 20, guys. Keep eating. There you go, Bill. What right. time? Oh, yeah. That's a nice. Oh, yeah. Big fat gill? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice Not as big as yours, Mike. But a nice one. Oh, that's a cute. Look at that. That's beautiful all day long. Catching him on that. Z-Man, huh? Got him that time. Alright. Jim's <laughs> on. Jim is on a... Very light bite. Very... Ooh, Little... Ooh, ooh. Oh! Right there, oh. That might have been a bass. Not paying attention. Um, <laughs> okay. Hmm. There's two extremes with that. I love that. you, man. I love you. There's, there's two extremes with that. Setting the hook way too fast and then not setting the hook fast enough. Yeah. You're kind of in the middle. <laughs> as long as they don't swallow it. No, what he has is he probably has a nice bluegill sitting on bed there. Something he just happened to bring it across the top of it and it's like, get off my bed. Yep, something had it right there. What was that? Whoa! Okay. That was probably one of the biggest hits I've had. I don't know how big a fish it is, but it slammed it. That ain't no one. Yeah. That's gotta be a bass. That is a monster bluegill. Wow. That's what I'm talking about right there. Those are not hybrids. Those are bluegills. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. It absolutely slammed that. Hold him in your hand. Wow. Because that's what's going to give the proper size. Wow. Look at that, y'all. The old Rock Creek hair jig. Throw it right on the edge of that brush, brother. I thought they were, I thought I saw them swirl. Hmm. See where the green yep. and the dead? I threw it right in the middle and it absolutely slammed it. Yeah, right there. See if there's another one. I mean, my bobber just disappeared like that. It was waiting for it. Yeah, but then after the, the whole school thing, mm -hmm. everybody kind of chilled out because Mr. Dugalecki wasn't going to take it. And you shouldn't have to. Got him. Look at that. Hey, Mike, they're back here, brother. He just caught one. Oh, he got off. Oh, did he? Yep. Look how big he was. Look at the swirl. No, I saw him. He was like... Oh, he almost pulled your plastic off. He was the size of yours. All right. Oh, Jim's got a nice one there. Yeah. Okay, Bill, come here. I'm going to show you where... Yeah. See the dead willow uh -huh. and then the green leaves? Watch. You, watch. Go ahead, cast in there. I think the edge of this come. Two casts in a row. And the one he had was probably bigger than this one. Yep, cast right beside him, but on the left side. They're turning on, y'all. Oh, I got a big fat corrupt Did you? Big oh, fat. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and letting it drop slow, I thought, I want to pick a crappie. Look, look at that, Bill. He got a crappie. White crappie. Look at that, y'all. That's All what right. I'm talking about. We go wow. Outdoor adventures, the next cast. Get you some of that, guys. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Look at the size of that bluegill. Got him a big fat one. Let me get a short for him. Look at that. Be that is a monster, brother. Go ahead and bring your pole tip out to it so it brings it out of the weeds. Yeah. Yep. Problems here. I got you. Okay. 
We got to do. I, was having, I didn't have my camera. There you go. Make him come out. There you go. <laughs> right. I got nice, nice, nice. Look what I got. Beautiful, Bill, what you got there. I have me a bluegill that, my, as according to Mike, has all, ouch, all yeah. its shots. That's a good thing because he just <laughs> stuck you. <laughs> Get you some of that. <laughs> Boom, fishing with old dad. Yes, there sir. Go. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Beautiful. There you go, sir. You Told you. Okay. Look at that. And quality oh, size. Man. Look at the size of that monster. Oh. Ken, I'm telling you, brother, come over here. There's a hole right here, and they just stay here. Oh, this is nice You need to show that one to Ken. I want to take a length on this one. Anybody okay. got a tape? I do. Look at that bad boy right there. It's going to be about nine and a half. Oh, yeah. You are at nine. You're at nine and a half. Oh, man. Nine and a half inches. Half inch more, and I've got a tarp. Oh, yep. man, we're so close. And we got one. There it is. See? And look at this. Oh, you got a bass. See? See? I'm telling you, man. I finally caught a bass. Thank you. You got a bass because you have a bass attitude. <laughs> you ever? I saw that on a t shirt. Yes. Where'd it go? Next to my foot. Oh, okay. He is currently, he's currently doing what we would like to call here in the bayou of East Tennessee. <laughs> he's mud stomping it. East Tennessee. You were in the East Tennessee bayou, boy. No touch kin. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> I, I can let him go now, right? <laughs> Look, I touched him too. No touch kin up here. Uh, up here touching all kinds of stuff. No you didn't think no I could catch a bass in a, in a sunny hole, did you? In a sunny hole. <laughs> what? That's what I did. <sighs> that is literally what I did. And he's laughing at me. He was sunny fishing in the bass hole. But then he caught a bass in the sunny hole. Well, you gotta call me a bass hole, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was really just beginning to like you. <laughs> I was just beginning to like you. <laughs> well, just remember, you and the uh, Everglades, the Northeast Tennessee Everglades. You and the Northeast Tennessee Everglades, boy. Everglades, boy. <laughs> Can't you hear that attitude? <laughs> you two to gate us. See? Got another I told you, dude, that's the hole over there. Look, 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 he's all in the weeds. You know, when the host tells you that there's a good fishing spot, oh my lord. For that, I'll push Mike out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> Sweet goodness. Wow. How do you like me now? Feel better when you catch one. Yeah. Another hole. Look at that. So I'm talking about Bill. Good job. Oh, this invasive grass. Look at that baby. Oh, all because of we, we it down. this guy we'll right here. No, it's all Bill, guys. Jim. Don't don't let him fool you. <laughs> Bill knows what he's doing. <laughs> See, Bill? Aren't you glad I told you to fish over there? You sure you're not hooked on a stick? No, he's probably got a bass. Let it come out for you. You always want to swim in them weeds. Well, oh, yeah, they're smart. Let it come out of the weeds for you. Mike lost one there. Hold on, Bill. I'm coming. That's a big old bass. If not, it's a mount monster bluegill. This is where I excel. Okay. You got some rubber blue. Let me, yeah, have, let me see your pole. Oh, it's in my truck. Oh, let me see oh it pole. is a bass. It's a big old bass. No, no, I got you. I do this with Mike all the time. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at that frog. Hey, buddy. No one's coming for you. I need you to go out of the weeds. There you go. Thank oh, you. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Woo yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jim, for getting it out. You know how I knew how to do that? Because I do it all the time. I get stuck in that all the time. Well, you can see where the pond ends, how, how much the weed Beautiful bass. There's literally, there's a hole there, and they just all sit on the bottom. And you'll get the bass, the bluegill, and every now and then you'll get a monster bass, but then typically the bluegill that are just sitting there like that. I just want to give a big thank you to Mike and Jeff 
Robert, Bill and Ken, and Chris and Jabo. I really appreciate that you guys came out here and took the time to fish with us today. I want to give a special thank you to my Uncle Jimmy. Without him, this event and the access we have to being able to fish these ponds would not even be possible. So thank you all. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to conclude our summer pan fishing series. That All those videos are linked in the description below. I'm excited though because fall is right around the corner. And with that being said, we got some very exciting things ready for you. We're going to be fishing with some new lures. We're going to be trying some different techniques. As always, we're going to get outside, go fish and have fun. And we'll see you on the next cast.